Steel, a versatile, multifunctional, and by far one of the most adaptable materials largely shaping the modern world. From its usage in buildings, infrastructure, vehicles, and electrical appliances. Playing a key role in the domestic steel industry is La Forme Berhad. From a humble beginning as a steel trading company back in 1995, we have grown steadily over the years through grit and perseverance. Today, under the leadership of our managing director, Lo Kok Tai, who has more than 30 years of experience in the steel industry, La Forme is one of the leading manufacturers and traders of steel products, particularly steel pipes, guardrails, slitted coils, and sheets. At La Forme, we offer a broad range of products that cater for various end-user applications in furniture, construction, and industrial product industries. Our facilities are well-equipped with semi-automated machineries and equipment. These capabilities provide us economies of scale and the ability to produce in large volume, as well as great flexibility to perform customization according to client's requirement. We have an integrated operation for steel pipes, from production of materials to delivery of finished products. Our steel pipes are welded using electric resistance welding, or ERW technology, where electric current is used to heat and melt the edges forming a seamless bond without requiring additional fillers. This process is automated and environmentally friendly. We take pride in producing highest quality steel products, as demonstrated in our consistent product return rate of less than 1%. Besides conforming to the Japanese industrial standards, we are also accredited with ISO 9001-2015. Not resting on our laurels, we are leaping forward with our future one-stop centre to consolidate our operations as well as to enhance production capacity and capability in order to provide our clients our best solutions on a timely basis. With our innovative solutions, coupled with our decades-long mastery, we have proven our competency not only to clients in Malaysia but also overseas in New Zealand, Singapore and Cambodia. As we further solidify and strengthen our position in the steel industry, we at La Forme Group will continue to strive with excellence and deliver sustainable growth, creating value to all our stakeholders and the industries we serve. The key personnel for La Forme Berhad is actually Mr. Lau Kok Tai, who is our managing director. He has about 32 years of experience in the steel industry, helping from a very humble beginning, starting off from a bright steel, where he was dealing in flat steel products, and later honing uh, his skills uh, and uh, uh, experience into the pipe industry. Uh, basically, he was formerly from uh, Kenzen and later into Presta, uh, Presta Steel Pipe, under the, the, what, uh, the stable of Presta Resources per heart, before forming up uh, his own uh, company and venturing into and uh, homing in onto his entrepreneurial skills. Uh, he has uh, held uh, leadership roles in several steel uh, uh, companies, both in uh, sales and marketing, and he is very knowledgeable in uh, the products that we are dealing with uh, currently. He has got a strong team of uh, management, uh, helping him along the way in uh, growth. Uh, basically, myself, I'm the advisor, I'm the executive director, uh, I'm an accountant, and also as a, an attorney. Uh, I have 20 years experience just yeah, in the pipe industry. Uh, basically, I was a former general manager of uh, Kenzen also, and also I was a general manager in the Presta uh, Resources Bahat. Now, this IPO exercise will draw us approximately about 74 million. The lion's share of which year, uh, the public issue will be uh, 311 million and uh, the private placement uh, will be 22.5. The public uh, portion will be uh, 5%, two and a half for the new trust and two and a half for non-bullying trust. So this is the, the, one, uh, the detail of uh, our IPO spread of the, the, one, uh, the IPO. Now on the use of the proceeds, out of the 74 uh, million,
then that we will be drawing from the IPO exercise, the lion's share of which uh, will be going towards uh, the construction of our new warehouse headquarters and also the hostel, hostel accommodation for our workers. Uh, it's important for us, basically, especially the warehouse, and I will explain it uh, further later, uh, as uh, this will help us uh, enhance our productivity. And uh, the balance of uh, the what, uh, the amount from the IPO proceeds will go towards the uh, repayment of our banks, uh, the fixed term facilities, uh, about 14 over million, and uh, some will be used for working capital, and uh, 5.5 5 million dollars will be allocated for the expenses. These are some of the uh, IPO indicative key dates. We have just recently launched our prospectus on the 26th of October, and we are opening up uh, for the market uh, subscription, and the uh, application will be closing on the 11th of November. The balloting will be on the 15th of November, and the uh, allotment of the IPO shares will be on the 21st of November. Well, every, everything turns out well, uh, hopefully, we will be hitting the gong on uh, November the 22nd.